Hello people of the tube world, welcome aboard. Just stand up and have a stretch, because that's how we roll. Anyway, I've got a question. I've got a little bit of a story and a question. It's only a little bit of a story. It's not a long story. It's a little story. Basically, my question is, has anyone ever told a story about you that is not strictly true, but it's made you look good, so you run with it anyway? That's right. I think you get what I mean. Say you're at a party and something happened and the next morning the recollection was a little bit different. Things I mean mine was to do with biking. Back in the day I used to have a 1200 bandit. Bit tricked up, bit street fighter-ish. I think it was pushing 140 brake horsepower, something like that, which is not bad for the day. Anyway, I'm not great at stunts. I'm, to be honest, quite rubbish at stunts. I used to do stoppies, and the back would come down with such a smash that I decided not to try those anymore, because I was breaking the back of the bike. I could do burnouts, I was good at burnouts, but they cost you a fortune in tyres. Wheelies, this was my thing. Wheelies, I was never any good at wheelies. Never, never. I mean, if you could get a cigarette under my wheel for one of my wheelies, then I'd be happy for days. This one day I was out with some guys, and uh, we were mucking around, having a laugh, enjoying ourselves, having a ride. Anyway, I was going down this road, and it had a slight hump in it. And because of the power of the 1200 Bandit, when I went over the crest, I just floated the front wheel. Now it probably was one of the best wheelies I've ever done. To people that wheelie, it would be like a, yeah, whatever. But I felt good, and he happened to see this. He was next to me, I've still got my indicator on. He was next to me, and he gave me that universal sign for wheelie and I was smug, happy anyway we got to the pub later in the evening and he was telling everyone how I was wheeling over the crest of this bridge and as the night went on and people got more and more drunk the wheelie got longer and longer and longer more upright more skilled so by the end of the night I was practically in this story, doing a stand-up wheelie for about two miles at 120 mile an hour. Now, being a man, I took that and ran with it. Now, no one has ever seen me wheelie. This is the only guy that's ever seen my front wheel off the ground. No one has ever seen me wheelie before, and probably never since because I am rubbish at it and I'm absolutely paranoid that I'm going to flip the bike. I probably won't. I probably could learn to do it. But I'm not going to try and get into the habit because it looks like fun. So even to this day, basically, I'm known amongst this group of people, even though they've never seen me wheelie, as a wheelie god. I mean, I'm an, I'm an okay rider, I'm at, I put myself in the average category, maybe slightly above, but I'm not a bad rider, but I don't know how they can get this impression that I wheelie everywhere, because I don't. If I wheelie anywhere, it's by mistake. It's a pure fluke. So, if you've ever had a story told about you, that's not strictly true, but it's made you look good, so you've run with it anyway, let me know, leave your comments in the box. So make a 
video of your own telling me what you've been up to and what it was. Basically this is like a confession for me. To all those people that think I can wheelie and I'm a wheelie god, <laughs> I'm not. I mean, and this story's been going on since I got a fucking wasp in the neck, you Oh shit, that fucking stung. Ooh, you bastard. I went a bit camping. Ooh, <laughs> fucking that really hurt. Anyway, this story's been going on for about 12 years, probably more. So this is my confession. I can't fucking wheelie. I'm an okay rider, but I can't fucking wheelie. I should, should I learn? What do you reckon? Should I learn to wheelie? Should I try practicing on this thing, wheeling? Or is it a hopeless cause? Fucking hell.